Tutor Films here, and I'm just going to give you guys a quick tutorial in Adobe After Effects of some cool color collection uh, techniques and uh, five downloadable presets that you can apply to your projects uh, to give some sort of cool look to your um, basic boring um, looking scene, such as this one. It's very yellow and warm, and it's just, it's it's nasty. It doesn't work well in... Uh, in presenting a final project and obviously in post-production the point is to touch upon these things such as color correction being one of the most important things um, now I have two pieces of footage here to show you guys these uh, five first downloadable presets that I'm going to uh, include in the link in the video to download them and they go by the name of Armony, Bleach Bypass, Blue Crush, uh, Classic Cinema and Middle East and uh, let's get it started and show you how it looks. So the Armony one, um, this is what it looks like. It's really just a um, more of a contrasted look on your picture. And let's try with the other piece of footage um, what it does. Yeah, just a little more contrast, a little more uh, warm color. Uh, the next one that we have is the classic bleach bypass, which uh, almost has kind of a bit the same effect on this particular footage, but it does give a really nice effect on uh, not such saturated footage. And let's give a try the other one. Uh, it looks alright. Kind of gives it a, a bit of a dead ghostly look. Uh, next we have uh, Blue Crush. And Blue Crush uh, adds in a lot of blue color and takes away a lot of the saturation as seen in here. Um, you know, see a big difference with the Blue Crush. It looks a lot more presentable, a lot better. I would, you know, more likely upload a video like this rather than a video like this. And let's just check out the other footage, what it looks like with Blue Crush. Uh, not too bad, a little too much blue for my liking, but that's also because the uh, background is blue to begin with. So it's just a little too much blue in this case. Uh, the next one that we have is Classic Cinema. And Classic Cinema kind of looks like the Armony one um, right now, but that's just because of this particular footage. And let's check it out here. Looking pretty cool, looking pretty cool. And uh, next we have, last but not least, one of my actual favorite ones. It's called Middle East. And uh, yet again, you can't really tell on this piece of footage of how um, effective this preset is. It's a little bit more subtle than the other ones. But uh, with, um, with scenes that are lit up well, this preset works really well in uh, bringing out some of the colors in your scene and just giving a nice funnel touch. Uh, let's just see how it looks on this scene. Oh yeah, kind of reminds you a bit of uh, Transformers, that kind of hazy blue warm look kind of going on. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. So the first one created here, uh, custom one as I called it, um, this is what it looks like and as you can see right off the bat takes away all that warm color away from it, well at least most of it, and uh, gives us this really cool look before, after. And uh, pretty much what I did, I realized once I analyzed the footage that I, the main thing I had to do is take out all that warm color and replace it with something more subtle. So that the first uh, adjustment I went in and put was a color balance and it's just found right here uh, color and balance under color correction and I applied that and uh, let's just hit reset on all these to see how what each thing does so the first thing I did was I took the shadow red, red balance and uh, I brought that down and I brought it down to about 58 and uh, that kind of took out some of the red shadows out of the image. Now next I wanted to put some uh, either green or blue shadows into the footage but I chose to go with blue and I put in about positive 15 in here. Okay and the next thing I did the uh, mid-tone reds I brought those down uh, by about 10 and then I put up my mid-tone blues by 56 
to bring in some blue color. And the last thing is uh, taking away the highlight red, because the highlight red is the shiniest of the reds in the entire image. So you really want to take those away. So the highlight reds I brought down for about 46, I believe, oh, minus 46. And uh, preserve luminosity, make sure you do that because that kind of equalizes the uh, the image out a little bit. And the last thing I did was just a simple human saturation. There was still a little too much saturation in the picture, so I just brought that down to about a negative 46, and voila, this is the end result of this custom one, the first custom one. Um, now, obviously, for whatever your footage may look like, this these specific settings that I showed you aren't going to necessarily give you the look that you're looking for. But however, um, it's just to give you an idea of what kind of things you should think about when doing color, color correction. For me, it was the case was that it was very warm and very red and yellowish. So the main idea was to take around take out uh, the reds from the footage as seen with uh, the shadow balance, the red shadow balance and the uh, highlight red balance. I took those out and pumped in a little bit more of uh, new, more cold color sludges, blue and green. And the hue and saturation is self-explanatory, you know, use at your own discretion if the if you're looking for a more saturated look, you know, keep it at zero, maybe pump it up. Or if you're looking for a more um, darker, noir, cold look, you know, you bring down your saturation. So the last one I did um, is a little bit more complicated than the first one and uh, requires a couple more adjustments than just the, uh, the two that were before. And I tried using some different stuff. So the first thing um, I chose was Colorama. And the way that Colorama works natively um, when if if your adjustment layer is just normal when you have colorama added on it's going to give you a really really weird but cool effect depending you know if this is like something that you would be going for then you know by all means add some sort of color correction like this but otherwise you um, the best way i found to give it instead of giving it this look um, it was using soft light uh, which gives you this look. This is more going back to the uh, Transformers look, kind of blue, but you still got some more colors in there. Um, so anyways, the way I did this one, the first thing, obviously, as I said already, was Colorama. And I just went in here and used one of the presets, and the presets that I used was, um, where is this? Saturation Ramp right here. And uh, I just moved these around a little bit. Uh, brought the blue over here and the gray over here and then just brought down the uh, the alphas on them. Um, this is what this little slider does. It brings in uh, the alpha channel on the colors. And uh, this is what it looks like with just that. Now the next thing that I did was I applied a hue and saturation and the reason um, for this one to take away from the color, you actually have to add in saturation uh, versus take away saturation because it, we're working with alpha channels and things are a little inverted and it's probably also has to do with putting in a soft light rather than some other sort of uh, transfer modes. So just raise this up a little bit. I put it around like 56. Uh, next thing is just the classic uh, curves adjustment and just a little bit of an S bend right here and uh, the next thing I did was I used uh, color balance yet again and uh, this is what it looks like with the color balance and what I wanted to do with color balance is take away uh, some of the reds bring in some more blues and uh, kind of make the colors a little more contrasted last but not least I put in a levels adjustment uh, 